Now that we've taken care of picking up the grenade ammo and actually throwing the grenades, we can focus on blowing up the grenade after a certain amount of time. And to do this, of course, we'll need a little bit of scripting, but before we can script it, we also need a explosion. Now, fortunately, Unity comes with a preset of explosions, and they come in the standard assets folder. Now, to find them really quick, you can just use the search and type explosion. And as you can see already, there's this prefab set and it's called Explosion. So let's grab that and drag it inside of our scene. And as you can see, there's a huge flame going on already. Now, let's look at this from the Y view and position this explosion in front of our character so that when we run the game, our camera focuses on it and we don't have to turn around and the explosion is already over. This is just for the purposes of um, being able to see what's going on. Okay, let's uh, empty out our search box here to get our assets back. Now, the explosion is a group of assets here. Uh, one is called Large Frames, which is also a prefab. And as you can see, this is a particle rendering system. And the other one is also Large Frames, but it also has a light source attached to it, which of course makes sense. Now, if I run the game right now, what you see is that there's a flame going on, it's pretty big, and all of a sudden after four seconds, it's gone. It's a little sudden, it's a little abrupt, and we don't really want that effect in our game, I don't think. So the reason why this happens is because the guys at Unity have attached a timeout script to it for four seconds, and after four seconds it destroys it. Now. That's fine, the four seconds I'm okay with that, but not the fact that all of a sudden everything disappears. So to change this, go into our large flames here, the first one, then scroll all the way down and uncheck the animation that is attached to it. Then go up and instead of um, simulate in world space, add one shot to this. Okay, so uh, let's do that same thing for our large frames here, scroll down and detach the animation because the animation sends commands to this particle emitter and then hit one shot instead of simulate in world space. Okay, as you can see now this looks a lot more like an explosion that happens from a um, from a grenade. So let's play this here and as you can see the light disappears after a while and then the objects disappear. Now that's a lot more of what we're actually looking for. Let me make sure that it is exactly correct. Let's run it one more time and as you can see the light fades out and then this cloud of smoke fades out. That's perfect. Okay, now let's move on and get to the part where we attach a little script to our grenade that allows it to blow up and destroy things.